open your Bible anywhere. In the book of 2nd Esther chapter 7. And we'll start reading at verse 19. All right, follow me. And he said unto me, there is no judge above God. Do you hear that? Amen. Amen. There is no judge above God. Higher than God. And God knows that's the truth. That's right. God is the supreme judge. That's right. His judgment is always fair. Always fair. His judgment have no flaws. And one thing about his judgment, there's no favoritism involved. No. No. The judgment of God is without respect to person. That's right. And God's judgment, our judgment should be the same. Judge me, O Lord. Do you hear this? In the book of Psalms 26 and that verse 1. Notice what Brother David asks. Judge me, O Lord. Judge me, O Lord. For I have walked in my integrity. Everybody shall want God's judgment. God's judgment. In mercy. That's right. I welcome God's judgment. In mercy. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. I say like Logan. I remember. <laughs> And now I um, was talking about how many men have licenses, but that don't mean they can preach. <laughs> and I liken it unto many people that have licenses, but that don't mean they can drive. <laughs> and I was cutting my eye at Mr. Williams. <laughs> and Brother Logan, he said, be nice, G. <laughs> That's right. He said, G, be nice. That's right. <laughs> When they come to the judgment of God, I want God to be nice. Oh, yes. Because the judgment of God come in mercy. Yeah. And the judgment of God, hear me good, come in anger. That's right. Sometimes the judgment of God come in mercy and anger simultaneously. That's right. Let me give you an example. In the days of Noah... Mercy or the judgment of God came in mercy and anger. and anger. Those that was obedient to the message in the days of Noah, they experienced mercy. That's right. Because the judgment was the flood, but they benefit from the flood. Oh, yes. Because without the flood, the ark could not be set afloat. That's right. But those that reject the word of God that was preached by Noah and Methuselah. And Methuselah. Because the Lord our God gave man 120 years for self-correction. That's right. They suffered at the hands of God wrath. That's right. Now you had Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah. The mercy of God was experienced by Lot in his household. That's right. But the terror of God was experienced by all those that reject the message. Amen. And reject God's will. That's right. The message that was brought by God through the angels. The, angels. the one that hearkened to the message was Lot and this household. But even then, judgment hit the house of Lot. That's right. Or the instructions was not to look back. To look back. But Lot wife looked back and was turned to a pillow of salt. Oh, so. She physically looked back. Yeah. When you look back, oh, yes. I don't mean physically, but mentally. Emotionally. Yeah. The scripture says this about Israel. In their heart, they turn back again into Egypt. Into Egypt. In the heart. In your heart. In now, heart. hear me good, let me soak you. You always want to avoid yeah. God's anger, God's wrath. And you all 
always want to welcome God's mercy. Oh, yes. But you never want to take for granted God's mercy. That's right. And you never want to play with God's mercy. That's right. And you never want to misuse or abuse God's mercy. Remember, O oh Lord. Hear this. In Psalms 25 and verse 6. Remember, O oh Lord, thy tender mercies. Remember. Remember. O oh Lord. Thy tender mercies. Hold it. Mm. Why is mercy called tender? Tender. So you'll get the language of the book. Amen. Notice the prophet didn't say, do what? Remember, O oh Lord. Remember, O oh Lord. Thy tender mercy. He didn't say, remember your mercy. No. Uh -uh. Tender mercy. Certain kind. That's right. That's Certain right. kind of mercy. Tender mercies. Tender. Now, tender. hear. Hear me good. You cannot handle a new plant that's sticking out the ground like you do a tree. That's right. What do you mean, Pastor Jennings? You cannot apply the same force. Mm -hmm. If you got a tender plant, sometimes too much force can break the plant, kill the plant, too fast, That's right. too quick, because you're not paying attention to the force that's applied. That's right. But a good sound tree that's been up there for years, if you want to remove that tree, you may have to get some machinery. Hmm. Push it down, push it over. That's right. Get something to grind the stump down. So I welcome God tender mercy. Tender, tender mercy. If you have to reprimand me. That's right. Don't apply so much force. That's right. Do you hear me? Amen. If you have to correct me, don't apply so much force. That's right. Wherein I'm lost. That's right. Damn, destroy. destroy. If you apply force, fine, but with the force that you use, yeah. break me, but make me. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. Every form of punishment, there's some form of application of force. Amen. Some force is more ease than others, even in words. Yeah. One scripture says, how forcible are right words. Are right, right. Words. right words. Sometimes forcible speech is misinterpreted for anger. That's right. Hatred. Well, that's what they say about me all the time over the air. He's the meanest man I ever seen. No. <laughs> Amen. I'm a pretty nice guy. Yes, you what are. What do you think, Will? I think you're pretty good, Pastor. Well, I thank God for that. Amen. <laughs> a lot of time when you sound strong, outspoken, unafraid. That's right. You're not a religious Uncle Tom. <laughs> That's it. You're not associated with Uncle Ruckus. <laughs> Amen. Bowing to the powers that be. That's right. But to stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Firm. Yeah. Solid. Uncompromising. Not deterred. That's by right. nothing and nobody. That's right. Don't bow to no government. Yeah. That pose threats. Or make sanctions. That's right. To break you. Make you less than a man. Amen. You refuse to let other religions castrate God away from you. That's right. Wonderful. 
stand up against threats of all kinds. Who will rise up for me? Right then, that's right. You're mean, hateful, yeah. angry, unloving. Unloving. They look at you and say, "Oh, I feel sorry for the woman that's married to him." Yeah, yes, they will. <laughs> that's right. Because all they see is me up here. Right. Yeah, yeah. They don't know Pastor Jenny. No. no. Not at all. You don't know PJ. You don't know G. No. <laughs> that's right. You don't know them. That's right. They see me up here. Yeah. That's what they see. That's what they see. So they say he's a cult leader, he's a tyrant. One man say, my only problem with that Geno Jennings, he's mean all the time, and his delivery is always aggressive. <laughs> they don't say that about Satan. No. No, they don't. They don't say that about Satan at all. No, they don't. But when you stand up against Satan yeah. and the belief system of Satan. That's right. And when you denounce Satan tries to make himself a rival yeah. against the only one true living God. When you stand up unafraid, unafraid. the so-called Christian community, yeah. who the majority of them are Bible-carrying cowards. That's right. Am I right, I say? Amen. From pulpit down. That's right. All you got to do is offer them a couple of dollars. And they will turn their back on God, denounce God, give up on God, because they are easy to be bought. That's right. That's right. God wants soldiers for him. That's right. Until the word of God says, in your hardness, as a good soldier. As a good soldier. Good soldier. Nobody in the military. Is treated tenderly. <laughs> no, no. I don't care if a woman joined the military. Mm -hmm. You ain't going there in no pink ballerina shoes. No. No pink ballet dress. Oh, no. You got to put them boots on. <laughs> That's right. I don't care how feminine you are. When you got to run through them tires. Amen. That sergeant ain't looking at you going through here. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. No, no. You can't do that. No, no. No way. So anybody expect to be treated tenderly. Tenderly. In the military, it's best you stay home. That's right. Now, God's church is an army. It's an army. And God is the head of the church. That's right. Head of this army. That's right. Every soldier must go through boot camp. Boot camp. And boot camp is everyday life experience. That's right. The scriptures is simply a guide to guide us through life and prepare us how to handle life, that which is expected and that which is unexpected. That's right. In the military, you must pace yourself. Oh, yes. And the sergeant is going to push you. Oh, yeah. You climb up that rope ladder, jump over that wall, he's going to be right behind you like a pit bull. That's right. What's the matter with you, Williams? Can't you move faster than that? That's right. Do you need me to get your mommy? <laughs> Amen. 
That's right. He attacked your mind. What is he doing? Building you up psychologically. Yeah. Boot camp is designed to condition your body. To make all the unit be one. That's right. God come along and do the same thing. Glory to God for scripture. That's right. He attacks the mind and says, let this mind be in you that's also in Christ Jesus. Now, our mind need to be utterly destroyed. destroyed. Am I right, I said? Amen. Some of the trouble we get in is because the way we think. That's right. The way we think bring about confrontation, Patience. argument, and quick to judge. That's right. We quit the judge before we had the right information. So God, through scripture, come to condition our mind to strengthen the weakness of our mind. Let go from the mortal thought. Listen. In the book of 2nd Esther, chapter 14 and verse 14. Let go from, from the, the mortal thoughts. Mortal or carnal thinking. Cast away the burdens of man. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. Pull it off. Put it off. Amen. Put off now the weak nature. Our weak nature. Our weak way of thinking is a contributing factor to our house, our temple being weak. That's right. That's right. So the scriptures come to fortify our way of thinking. Yeah. That way when we hear false teaching, false concepts, That's right. the ideology of men, yeah. we're not swayed by it, we're not deterred by it, and we're not influenced by it. And we don't run after it. That's right. A weak mind. Your weak mind will use a threat to yourself. Amen. When you're weak minded, weak -minded. your eternal life with God is in jeopardy. That's right. A person stays with God. As long as the soundness of the mind is in place. That's right. When the mind starts getting less and less and less sound, yeah. then the word of God said the lust of, inter th of other, other things, things enter in, Choke chokes the word. That's, That's what the word of God said. That's right. And we become unfruitful. 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 What bring about us being so non-productive? Yeah. Many times it's the company that we keep. That's right. I often say this. If a person is motivated to get things accomplished for self, like someone who wants to start their own business, he or she cannot afford to be around anyone, if I use a term, that's a dream killer. Amen. A hope killer. Yeah. Because they may try to start a business and it didn't work. That doesn't mean I'm going to fail because you fail. That's right. My approach may be different. And my outlook on things may be different. Yeah. And my support system might be different. Amen. Listen at this. Now in the book of St. Mark, chapter 4 and verse 19. What is it? And the cares of this world uh -huh. and the deceitfulness of riches. The cares 
of this the attraction, world. the want, the lust That's right. of this world and the trickery of riches. The trickery of what? Of riches. Deceit. The cares of this world and what? The cares of this world and the deceitfulness. And the deceitfulness of riches. Riches can deceive you. Yes, they can. When riches have you and you don't have it, you become deceived. Deceived. Notice what I said. Because God can make you rich. That's right. Abraham was a rich man. Oh, yeah. So was Job. So was Job. Many of them in the Old Testament was wealthy. The difference was the fear of God was in their life. That's right. Not like people today. No. So the, the, the deceitfulness, deceitfulness of riches. Deceitfulness. When your riches possess you and you no longer possess them, right. they will deceive you. They will trick you to the degree they start reshaping your character. Yes, they will. Not for the better, but for the worse. That's right. But well, now you think you're something when you're nothing. Amen. Hear this now. And the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches. And what? And the lust of other things. Wait a minute. Mm. The lust of other things. Of other things. Entering what happens? In. Entering in. It comes in you. And what does it do? Choke the word. Hold it. Amen. It chokes information. That's right. That's right. It chokes the word. It chokes the information that's been sown in your heart. That's right. Choke it. Choke it. Your heart that was emotionally connected to God. Your distraction of other things choke that emotion. So now you're not emotionally tied to God like you used to. No. Mind that you had, hear me good, right. towards God, the lust of other things now enter in enter and in. choke the way you think. That's right. So now your thoughts towards heaven, Lord, take God, is no longer like it used to be. That's right. That's right. Your thought process now is being choked. Yeah. When the mind is choked and the heart is choked, the body oh, yeah. and the performance of the deeds of God, that becomes choked. That's right. Everything about your house is altered. Amen. So now your foundation is in jeopardy. Oh, yeah. I'm a man that deal in real estate and dealt in real estate for probably 30 years or more than 30 years. I love architect and building and designing. Just a gift that God gave me. I never went to school for it. It just gave me an ability to design. I start off designing clothing, suits and coats and shirts and all of that stuff. Amen. I understood material and material that people didn't think worked. I look at it and make it work. Mm -hmm. Then I understood levels of concrete and steel and grout and roofing and everything. Wonderful. Just came natural for me. And then spiritually, God made me a builder. Oh, yeah. Because we're building a people. That's right. Amen. Don't you know that you're God's building? God's building. You're a lively stone, and God has made me a mason. <laughs> That's right. Amen. And, I, and you have to fit in the building right. That's right. why you find me working on some of you. I got to work on harder than others because you're trying to get on the wall that's put up by a plumb line. That's right. And many of you, your edges are not sharp. Your edges are not plumb. but somewhat jagged. And I got to take the hammer of the scripture and chisel the devil off of you. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Amen. So everybody can get in that one wall. One wall. Glory take God. That one house. That's right. That's being built by the Lord Jesus Christ. So I'm a mason. Mason. I'm not Scottish right or Prince Hall. No. Glory to God. But I am a mason. That's right. Amen. Cutting and chiseling and shaping and forming of people. That's right. By the tools of scripture. That's it. 
Amen. I, I use a hammer yeah. because some of you is very stubborn. I got to hit you hard with the Bible. Hit you hard. I use an axe because many of you can't cut it loose from that thing that got you tied. And an axe is necessary because that thing is nurturing yeah. you. That's why the axe is laid at the, the roots. roots. If I hit the roots, that kill you being nurtured by it. That's right. Then I have to go get my sword. sword. Because you connected the stuff that you shouldn't be connected to, and I have to sever ties. That's right. Amen. And everyone that get hit, holler. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Listen. And the cares of this world. The cares. Cares of this world. Of this world. And the deceitfulness and of the riches. And the tricks. The deceitfulness of riches enter in. And the lust, of other, lust things of other things entering in. What does it do to us? Choke the word. And how does it affect us? And it becometh unfruitful. Hold it. Amen. It becomes what? Unfruitful. Now, if it becomes unfruitful. Unfruitful. We got to find out what are those fruits. In the book of Galatians, chapter that 5. we're no longer producing. That's right. If we become unfruitful, unfruitful. now we got to find out what is it that we're not producing. That's right. Because we are plants. Oh, yes. And the word of God says those plants that my heavenly father have not planted shall be rooted up. That's right. Listen at the fruits. In the book of Galatians. That we got to have. That's affected. Right. By our distraction of the world. That's right. Follow me. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 22. What is it? But the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of a thing is the results of planting. That's right. We plant scripture. Amen. It is written, the seed, the sower, so the sower word. of the word. the word. You know, our farmer practiced husbandry. Yeah. That's what God is called, the husband, husband man. man. Here, here now. But God, here, God is the husband man, the farmer. And the son of God was the seed. That's right. Is that Bible? 15 chapter St. John, Saint verse John. 1. St. John chapter 15 and that verse 1. That's what? I am the true vine. I am. True vine. Son of God talking. Amen. I am the true vine. I am the plant. And my father. And my father, the it, spirit. Is the husband man. He's responsible for me being planted. That's right. That's right. Until the son of God is caught by the prophet. Tender plant. Tender plant. And root out of dry ground. Dry ground. So here is the Lord planting. Scripture, scriptures, planting His word in His church. That's right. Uh, that's why the church is growing. That's right. Yeah, if it ain't no planting of the Lord, don't look for no growth. Amen. Anybody that have a plant, that plant needs light and darkness. Did you hear me? Oh yes. That plant need light. And doctors, you have indoor plants and outdoor plants. Mm -hmm. Sometime when you have an indoor plant and it's outdoors and the weather start change, sometimes the individual will get some type of burlap bag or something to cover the plant. That's right. Because it's too cold. The cold may kill the plant. Mm -hmm. When I go to Jamaica or Barbados or Trinidad or Cayman Islands or the Bahamas, anywhere in the Caribbean, I always love to look at the different tropical plants. Amen. Go down to Florida and look at the big palm trees. You can't have no palm trees in Philadelphia in <laughs> no, December. No way. Unless they fake. <laughs> That's right. I've been to Florida. In January, in February. That's right. Uh, I see all them palm trees. And I say, oh, I wish I can just uproot them. 
take them back to Philadelphia. Amen. There have been some houses in Philadelphia who had palm trees fake. <laughs> in other words, they want to keep the greenery all year round, even if it's hypocrite greenery. That's right. Well, the Lord want to plant something real. Real. Now, some of you think I'm too hard, too strict, too tough. But every tree need pruning. Oh, yes. So I have to come with the cutting of scripture to prune you. Prune you. <laughs> That's right. Are you getting me, Williams? That's right. All of us, get me good, need pruning. That's right. If you get a rose bush, certain period of time, you prune it. Yeah. Then later on, you look at it, that bush is more fuller, more bigger, more beautiful than it ever did. That's right. In other words, you gave it a haircut. That's right. For those of you that don't know what pruning is, Amen. give it a haircut. Give it a haircut. Get rid of all the dead ends. That's right. That's what we need, pruning. Pruning. Sometime when you don't prune the bush, you notice it grows in spots. Yeah. But when you prune the whole bush, the whole thing, oh, it take God looks beautiful. That's right. Many of us, we want to be pruned in spots, and that's very little. Very little. But if you want your mind, heart, body, soul, spirit to thoroughly flourish in God, then the entire being, everything about yourself need to go through scriptural pruning. That's right. That you may flourish in the full capacity That's that it. God prepared you to flourish. That's right. That's right. How is it you claim you want to be everything that God wants you to be but afraid to be pruned. Amen. What is pruning passage in this? Mm -hmm. Give me the book of Hebrews. Mm -hmm. Where we're in all the partakers. All partakers. In the book I want of to show Hebrews. you what Scriptural pruning is. In the book of Hebrews chapter 12, we'll start Glory at verse 5. To God. Hebrews chapter 12, we're at verse 5. Hear me good now. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. Yes. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord. My son, don't despise, don't reject God's chastening. Nor faith. Nor faith. Faint when thou art rebuked of him. When you are pruned of him. For whom the Lord loveth, he chases. When you love a plant, That's right. you take care of it. Take care of it. When you love a plant, you prune it. That's right. You want your grounds to look as good as it can look. That's right. Now, when you prune that plant and then you're done, it don't have an attractive look. Amen. When it's done. Sometimes you stand back and look at me like, oh, did I do it right? Hmm. Oh, that's an ugly looking sign. That's right. Then when the weather starts to change, that's right. You wait for it. That's right. And then those flowers start budding and bursting open. Yeah. Give you joy, put a smile on your face. That's right. You're like, oh man, that thing is beautiful. You go get your phone and take a picture of it. That's right. The process of pruning, self pruning, self pruning, is for the expansion internally and externally of your being. That's right. Without pruning, you can't even be a proper help to yourself. Without pruning, you are incompetent to be a help to your brother 
or your sister. In the book of Isaiah chapter 5 and at verse 6. You keep pruning that bush or that tree. Won't be for long that tree can supply you something it couldn't. It's right. called shade. That's right. It can give you deliverance from the heat. From the heat. Without proper pruning as church. Right. You cannot properly be a help one to the other because without pruning, you are incompetent. And that's why your growth is not total growth. It's just spurks. That's right. Spurks. Isaiah chapter 5. So you're not fully developed. You didn't fully blossom. You didn't fully Bloom, mm. and that's why many of us are still struggling and holding on to certain things because we are scared of that thing to be cut from us. That's right. That's right. Pruning is the cutting of the dead part. That's right. Of that. Did you hear what I said? Amen. You're not cutting the part that's good. No. You're cutting the dead part. The dead part. You want to get rid of the dead man. That's right. That's it. The scriptures is not coming to correct the part of you that's already correct. No. But it comes to prove the dead part. The dead part. She that live in pleasure is dead wow, while she, she lives. That's right. It comes to cut all the sin. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. And you can see the results yeah. when God prunes his church. Oh, yes. Each year, the field get bigger right. and bigger that's right. and bigger and more colorful. Color. That's right. But without pruning, that's right. you will not have a church that grows. And I will lay it waste. Do you hear this? In the book of Isaiah chapter 5 and at verse 6. I will lay waste. And I will lay it waste. It shall not be pruned. Do you hear it? Amen. It shall not be pruned. Nor digged. Nor digged. But there shall come up briars and thorns. There shall come up briars and thorns. and thorns. Meaning what shall come up will not be good for usage. That's right. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling? Amen. Glory to God. Back in Hebrews 12 and verse 5. Follow me. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord. Nor what? Nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. And? For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. Whom the Lord loveth, he chaste and scourgeth every son. He lay everybody out. Whom he receiveth. <laughs> every son. Everybody. Every son. As then the Lord lay you out, he most certainly does. <laughs> That's right. When the word of God is preached, it hits me. Oh, yeah. Someone said, but I can't tell. You don't have to. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Not only can I tell, I can feel it. Feel it. Amen. Amen. But God didn't make me a coward, so I don't shun it. Right. And I don't run from it. I ran to it. I submit myself to the pruning of the Lord because in every aspect of God, I want to flourish and blossom so I stay around the plant food. That's right. Not only do I stay around the plant food, I want the light of God. Yes. I need the plant food and the light of God. Just like plants need to be nurtured and they need the sun. That's right. That's right. The light of God is the wisdom of God, the knowledge of God that pulls me from darkness. Amen. That I may enjoy the marvelous, hallelujah, 
marvelous letter of the gospel. That's Are right. you getting this? Amen. Go well, back to the foundation of the thing. Come on, Williams. Back in 2 Esther chapter 7. Yes. Back in 2 Esther chapter 7 and at verse 19. I want to take my time and soak you a little. 2 Esther 7 and verse 19. All right. And he said unto me, there is no judge above God. There is no judge higher than God. And none that hath understanding above the highest. Oh. None. Nobody understanding exceeds the Lord. That's right. I don't care who they are, how deep they are, their religious or educational background, their understanding will never, never, ever exceed the Lord's understanding. No way. His understanding is perfect about everything. That's right. His understanding is flawless about everything. Yeah. He have no errors. He have no equals. He have no rivals. He have no partners. He have no associates. He is God alone. God is not begotten. That's right. I say, wait a minute, G Pastor Jennings. You preach Jesus Christ as God. That's right. But God was not begotten. God is not begotten. The spirit of Christ that was in that man, that was God. That's it. The thing that was begotten was the man. That's right. Not God. Not God. Yeah. For there be many that perish in this life. Hear this. Amen. There be, there be many, many that a whole perish. whole lot. That perish. That perish. That will be destroyed. In this life. Right here. Because. Why? They despise the law of God that is set before them. Spot. Why are they going to hell? They despise the law of God that is set before them. That's why the preachers have took their hands off the people. That's right. Preachers despise the law of despise. God just as much as the, as the people or not more. Amen. They despise it. They, they hate it. That's right. They reject it. That's right. Turn away from God's counsel. Turn away from it. And lean to their own rotten and no good understanding. Amen. Do you hear this? For there be many that perish in this life. Many that perish right here. Because they despise, they despise the law of God. God's law. That is set before that us. That is set before us. For God has given straight commandment. Wait a minute. What kind of commandments did he give? Straight commandment. What direction are they in? Straight commandment. Amen. Straight, straight. orders is designed for a straight and narrow way. That's right. Straight commandments is given to a crooked people. That, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Amen. Did you hear me? Amen. Straight, Straight. commandments yeah. are given for and to a crooked people That's right. to raise them up from a crooked nature. Nature. To a straight nature. That's right. For the Lord said he made man to be upright. Upright. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. So God wants man to be upright, upright, and you can't have a crooked law. <laughs> no. A crooked law, a crooked teaching, crooked concepts. Amen. Keep that people crooked, separated from God, never connected to God, connected. and destroyed. That's right. Straight teaching. Straight. It takes straight teaching to keep me on a straight path. Amen. Straight teaching is the teaching of God unfiltered. That's right. Not mixed with men's ideology. That's right. Nobody's opinion, nobody idea, nothing. Nothing. You know, some men go to the bar, they tell the bartender, give me a shot of vodka. Hmm. Straight. Straight. No mix. <laughs> That's right. No, no mix. No mix. Give him that vodka. And you can tell it's straight too, brother. <laughs> Just look at his face when you take it. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Then they say, hit 
me again. Hit me again. You want another? Oh. That's right. <laughs> Straight. Straight. He feel it going down. Oh, yeah. And it's burning. Oh, yeah. But his love for it. And his lust for it. He's so dedicated until he's willing to suffer the pain of what he loves. That's right. You would do that for liquor, yeah. but you won't do it for God. That's right. That's right. God's word is given to us to digest to go down within our soul. Oh, yes. As they travel down to go to our heart, there's pain involved. That's right. That's why sometimes you leave church angry, think your minister's picking with you. Yeah. Because the message is brought and you're guilty. Yeah. And you say, oh, wait a minute. He talk about me. Uh, Why well, I, well, I feel like it's so personal? You should. You should. When you hear the word of God, you better take it personal. That's right. That's right. Take it straight. Take it straight. Take the word of God straight. Take it straight. Amen. When you come here and your brother is up, I ain't gonna ask you what you want. No. I'm gonna set your glass up. Amen. But just come on, bring your stool up to the counter. That's right. Because you know what you know what Pastor Jennings is serving. Oh yes. Oh yes. Straight gospel. Straight gospel. Straight drink. That's right. That's right. What's the name of that drink, Pastor Jenny? Give up your second wife drink. Oh, oh, oh. I gotta do what? Yeah, I gotta give up my your second wife drink. That's it. Uh, <laughs> that's strong. That's strong. That's right. What? What? Got another one for you. What's this? You ain't baptized right. That's right. What? Yeah, you, you, you drink this. Drink it. <laughs> this is the name of Jesus Christ baptism. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Just as the tree yeah. and the shrub do not fight the one that prunes it. Right. Are you listening? That's right. No shrub, no tree fight or rebels the one that prunes it. No. Some men needs a ladder to prune that tree. And some of you feel exhausted like a tree. Like a tree. But you ain't too high for God to reach you. That's right. So all of us from pulpit down, hear me good, and you that are watching, oh, yes. need the pruning of the scripture. Oh, yes. You love these sugar daddy preachers because they use fake tools. That's why you never get pruned. That's right. That's why you're still church alcoholics. Amen. Still church cigarette suckers. Yeah. Oh, yes. And some of you in the truth don't want to be pruned because you don't want to cut off. That's right. And cut away from your sins. That's right. That's right. But if you really want to be 
all you can be. All you can be. In God, yeah. you must subject yourself to the removal of the dead self. Dead self. That's right. Bush and shrubs that get pruned is the removal of the dead parts. That's right. Can you not identify the dead parts in your life? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You don't need me to tell you. No. You live with yourself 24 7. That's right. This is the greenhouse. The greenhouse. Where each plant must get individual attention. That's right. But every brother and every sister who wants to be something for God yeah. must subject themselves oh, yes. to the pruning, the cutting away, cutting away of self by Scripture. That's right. What did the Word of God say there? For God, chapter and verse again. Back in Second Esther chapter 7 and verse 21. What is it? For God has given straight commandment. God has given straight commandment. To, to such as Cain. To such as Cain. As Cain. As Cain. What they should do to live. What? Wait a minute. Mm. God gave straight commandment. To such as Cain. As such as Cain. What they should do to live. What they should do to live. Even as they came. Even as they came. And what they should observe to avoid punishment. God gave clear instructions. Clear instructions. What to do. That's right. So I can live. That's right. What to do. So I can avoid punishment. Punishment. Straight command. The American government and the governments of the world. God gave straight commands. Straight commands. Some of you post many of those commandments in your courthouse. Mm. Thou shall not do this. Thou shall not do that. Thou shall not do the other. That's right. But you regard the thinking of man and get pushed aside the commandment of God. That's right. You Nevertheless. See, God commandments make you straight. Yes, they will. It's a plumb line. That's right. I ain't seen nobody can walk a balance beam if they're extremely wing-footed or bow-legged. <laughs> you walk a balance beam, not like you do the floor. No. When you first get on there, somebody got to hold your hand to keep you up. That's right. Your feet is not side by side. Feet is in front of each other. That's right. And you're wobbling. Wow. Because it's too straight for your temple. Too straight. In order to bring balance and master the beam, you need training. Yes. And in the midst of your training, that beam gonna hurt you. Yes, it will. You're gonna slip off of it. That's right. Fall off of it. Oh. But someone who's aimed to master the beam, they're going to come right back. Oh, yeah. Because they want to accomplish. And they want to master that beam until they can walk it now without help. That's right. Until now, they're not only walking it, they're flipping on it. Amen. They're stable now. Yeah. They have familiarized themselves so good. Until now, they're not threatened by the bee. That's they're right. not intimidated by it. That's right. God law is a straight law. Straight. That many of us are intimidated by. Amen. Because you're being told forcefully. That's right. What God wants. Oh, yeah. Do you hear what he just read? Second Esther 7 and verse 21. Says what? For God has given straight commandment to such as Cain. What is the position of the 
Commandment. Straight commandment. Straight and narrow is the way to lead the life. Oh, yes. Few that be that fine. Few. God is the way to lead to destruction. Many that be that go in their right. That's right. God has given straight commandment. God has given straight commandment to such as Cain. To such as Cain. And what they should do to live. What they should do to, 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 to live. To, to live. To live. Got stuck there, Pastor. Got stuck. <laughs> you all right now? <laughs> God didn't give us commandments to get stuck. <laughs> no. Glory to God. Come on, Will. What they should do to live. Yeah. Even as they came. Uh-huh. And what they should observe to avoid punishment. Wait a minute. To observe. Observe. To avoid. To avoid punishment. Give me Joshua. 178 mm -hmm. and give me Matthew mm -hmm. 28 and 20. Joshua chapter 1. I want you one. to focus on the word observe. Observe. Notice it is given that we may observe destruction that we may uh, what they should observe, observe to avoid to punishment. Avoid punishment. Avoid. You want to avoid destruction, avoid punishment, but you got to observe. That's right. Now listen at Joshua. Joshua chapter 1, verses 7 and 8. And I want to balance this out with Matthew 28, 20. Amen. Listen. Only be thou strong and very courageous. Be thou strong, thank God, and very courageous. That thou mayest observe. That thou mayest observe. Observe to do. To do. According to all the law. According to all the law. Which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Then what? Turn not from it to the right hand or to the Don't left. Don't turn from the left nor to the right, but to observe to do according to all, all. what God ordered. That's right. That's right. If it says don't turn to the left nor to the right, he's telling you, don't you be unstable with my law. That, that's right. Hallelujah. Don't be unstable with God's law. That's right. For nobody. That's right. Wonderful. Get me. Only be thou strong and very courageous. Be strong in God's law. Amen. Amen. And be courageous. Be brave in it. That thou mayest observe to do. That you may observe to do. According to all the law. Glory which, to God according to all the law. Which Moses my servant which commanded Moses, thee. Moses my servant gave you. Turn not from it to the right hand. Don't be wishy-washy. Or man. to the left. What? That thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. Now, if you're not unstable with God's law, yeah. what other benefits? That thou mayest prosper. How often? Whithersoever thou goest. Do you see that, church? That's right. Wonderful. Wherever you go. Wherever. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You are prosper. Prosper. Don't go to the left. Don't go to the right. That's right. Stay on the straight path. Hallelujah. And he said what? That thou mayest prosper. That thou mayest prosper. Whithersoever thou goest. Wherever you go. That's right. Uh -huh. This book of the law. What? This book of the law. What I got to observe? This book of the law. What I got to stay in? This book of the law. What I got to pay attention to? This book of the law. What I got to submit to? This book. Of the law. What I got to obey? This book of the law. How must I pay attention to the book? Shall not depart out of thy mouth. But what should I do? But thou shalt meditate there. How often? Day and night. Hallelujah. 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 Meditate. How long? Day and night. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This book of the this law. This book of the law. Hallelujah. 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 When you hear the word of God, Hallelujah. even when you're watching it at home, Hallelujah. sometimes it's good to get to yourself. That's right. Meditate on it. That's right. Hallelujah. Think about it. Hallelujah. And let the 
word of God be a searchlight to your soul. That's right. That's right. Take it straight. Hallelujah. Straight. Go it. Take off. Hallelujah. Take it straight, I said. That's right. Straight. Thank God, whatever the word of God hit, don't be a coward and run from it. That's right. Take it straight. Take it straight. Hallelujah. You viewers, you go to churches that serve your Kool-Aid. <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. Tang and orange juice. <laughs> Nestle quick. Amen. Amen. Gatorade. Something that don't bother you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. We come along with strong scripture. Strong scripture. Full of spirit. That's right. Give it to you straight, not mixed with nothing. Mixed. Straight truth. Oh, yes. Solid. It's good for you. That's right. Run the sin out of your system. <laughs> That's right. Eh? That's right. Hey, man, you know, when that body ain't doing what it's supposed to do, you <laughs> take something straight. Straight. To move all that waste out of you. Amen. Sometimes what you take don't taste good either. Oh, no. Well, you take it straight, and then you feel lighter than you ever felt. <laughs> you feel like going on with Jesus. <laughs> Glory to God. That's right. Come on, William. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. This book of the law shall not leave your mouth. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Meditate. Amen. This is why some of us are not mindful of what the word of God said. Can't even remember. Can't remember it. But if we watch a movie, we can remember what each actor says. That's right. We remember his line, his script, as if he, as if you wrote it yourself. That's right. We're more interested, more eager. Yeah. Talking back to the television. <laughs> don't you go there, don't you run. Look out, girl. Look out behind you, look out behind you. That's right. No, nobody. They don't see you. Amen. But you're so into it until into when they're fighting and running, you in your chair. <laughs> biting your lip. That's right. Making noise. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my God, run, run. That's right. What a God being preached. in this life should be more interesting yeah. than God right. and your relationship with God. That's right. I'm 
inclined to believe that many of us have forgotten that we are in a relationship with God. Yeah. He is our father. father. We are his sons and daughters. That's right. So in that relationship, you want to keep it. Oh, yeah. Oh, if yeah. God reject you as his son and as his daughter, and someone else accept you, the acceptance of others and the rejection of God, the acceptance of others don't mean nothing. That's right. When God reject you and someone accept you, their acceptance have no power. No. Are you listening? That's right. That's right. Listen at this. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Right, right. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night. What should we do? That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. Wait a minute. How much we got to do? Observe to do according to all that is written therein. And if we do this, what did God promise us? For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. And then wait, wait, wait. Amen. Our way would be what? Thou shalt make thy way prosperous. And how good would it be? And then thou shalt have good success. Is Amen. that plain? Oh, yes. But these things, again, are given on terms. Terms. What did Ezra say? Back in 2 Ezra 7 and verse 21. Ezra say what? For God has given straight commandment to such as Cain. You have given straight commandments to such that have came. What they should do what to live. do to live. Even as they came. Even as they came. And what they should observe. And what they should observe. To avoid punishment. To avoid punishment. Nevertheless, Nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him. But what? But spake against him and imagined vain things. Speak against him? And imagined vain things. All right, let's finish up observation. Matthew 20, or rather... 28. 28. And 20. verse 20. All right, yes. St. Matthew, Matthew 20, chapter 28, 28 and I verse 19, 20. 20 then. I think I said that. If I did, I, I, I didn't make you say that. 28, 20. Right. All right. St. Matthew chapter 28 and verse 20. Yes. Teaching them. Now he's telling his apostles. Amen. To teach the church. To observe. How much? All things whatsoever I have commanded you. And then what he promised. And lo, I am with you always. Even. Even unto the end of the world. Amen. What more can you ask? What more can you ask? So this is why, yeah, but good, we labor oh, yeah. consistently in the scriptures yeah. to teach you to observe everything oh, that the Lord says. That's right. Teach you to observe everything oh. that the Lord says that you may prosper. That's right. And have good success. That's right. And don't narrow prosperity down to materialism. I want to prosper spiritually before I prosper naturally. Yeah. Yes. And I don't want me to prosper naturally right. until it distract me spiritually. That's right. I don't want to prosper naturally, then I fail spiritually. That's right. That's right. Do you get me? Amen. Get back to Ezra. Back in 2 Ezra 7 and verse 22. Follow me. Nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him. What? Nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him. Yeah, nevertheless. Yeah. People were not obedient unto him. Not They're not obedient, obedient now. That's right. This is a hard, a hard, hard. head world. Oh, yes. World is hard and oh, stubborn. Full of hell, full of the devil, rebellious. That's right. Everything, practically everywhere. Hate God. That's right. That's and right. they hate you if you stand up for God. Yes, they will. 
But I want to encourage everybody, respect God's law, respect God's commandment. God said he commanded all men everywhere to repent. To repent. All men. All men. Everybody. I don't care if you're so white, you look like a uh, flower. <laughs> Amen. That's true. So white. black, you look like asphalt. Asphalt with eyes. <laughs> You got to repent, brother flower, brother <laughs> asphalt. That's you right. both got to repent. Both got to repent. And take the asphalt and the flower down in water. Amen. And the name of Jesus Christ to get them old dirty sins wash off you so you can escape destruction that God is bringing on the world. That's right. Ain't no maybe so about it. God can't lie. That's right. We're telling you what to do to avoid, avoid destruction. Punishment. That's right. Dest uh, to avoid punishment. Amen. Hallelujah. It's coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, it's coming too, brother. It's, it's coming. Oh, Hallelujah. yes. The punishment. You can hate Hallelujah. this. Get mad. Amen. Get irate. Cuss. Make all your comments. I absolutely don't care. That, that's right. That's right. The I destruction of God is coming upon humanity. Oh, yes. Or it take God, and if you want to avoid it now, obey! Obey. The truth of God message. That's right. What did he say? For God has given straight commandment to such as Cain. God has given straight commandment. Straight. Straight commandment. Do that repenting of your sins and was baptized last night. You're making uh, ready now to avoid destruction. That's right. 89 souls. One night. One night. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. What did he say? For God has given straight commandment. To God has given. Straight commandment. Straight commandments are for the crooked. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Everything crooked needs straight commandment. Straight commandment. Because there's a bend in our nature. Oh, yeah. Bend in our nature. Sometimes you get a piece of material that's wrinkled. In other words, if it's wrinkled, you just got a lot of bends in it. Yeah. You lay it on something flat and get an iron and apply steam. That's right. Sometimes you got to take maybe a little water bottle, spray a mist. Spray it. Then take that steam and apply it. That's right. Match the steam, but... Then you get that material, oh, it's all right now. That's right. That's what we do. We take the steam of Scripture. Yeah. To put a crease in your life. Amen. Because as long as we got a wrinkle, we ain't getting into the kingdom of God. We won't get in You there. didn't know that? That's right. Get me. I said, Lord, you better give me the fifth chapter of Ephesians. In Ephesians chapter 5, we'll start at verse 26. In the human that, family, get this bishop. That's right. Mr. Apostle, prophet, <laughs> half right. pint elder, hypocrite junior deacon. Amen. One eighth by one eighth pastor. That's right. Fake woman preacher. Hmm. Get this. Ephesians chapter 5, we'll start at verse 26. Democrat and Republican Politicians, get this. this that, that's right. Go ahead, man. Every mayor, ahead, every man. governor that's on the planet. Hallelujah. You better hear this. That's right. To the Parliament of Europe and to the Congress of America. Hallelujah. Hear this. Hear this. Come on, son. Ephesians chapter 5, we'll start at verse 26. What else? That he might sanctify. You Trump lovers. Hear this. That's you right. Biden lovers, you hear this. That's right. Hallelujah. I don't care what politician you love. Democrats are donkeys and Republicans are elements. Elephant. Both of you are natural brute beasts. That's right. The Bible says made to be taken and destroyed. Speak evil of the thing. Thank God that they understand not. Amen. I want to say, what part are you of, Pastor Jennings? Jesus only. <laughs> That's right. I ain't a Democrat, nor Republican, never have been and never will. 
Amen. That's why you don't find me switching parties. <laughs> uh, and my card is Jesus only. That's right. William is holding my card. Oh, yeah. Tom said, Jesus only, not in the Bible. That's a lie. That's a lie. The Bible said they saw no man, save Jesus only. Jesus only. <laughs> And then what is that? That's right. Amen. I believe Moses and Elijah appeared up in the mountain, and those who was around, they saw Jesus' garment, how it began to glisten, and they heard that voice. In the book of St. Matthew. Let's get Bible for Jesus only. St. Matthew chapter 17 and verse 8. They're always jumping on always me jumping about, on something. about something. I'm going to plant your hill so deep in the plant, folks going to think you part of the landscape of your own house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to plant you down in the scripture. Down. Yeah. That's right. Somebody going to think you a yard decoration. <laughs> All right. St. Matthew chapter 17. We'll start at verse 7. I'm on the way. I'm and Jesus came and touched them. Jesus came and touched them. And said, Arise and be not yeah, afraid. Get up and don't you be afraid. And when they had lifted up their when eyes, they, lift up their eyes they, saw no man they didn't see no man save Save Jesus, Jesus only. Save Jesus only. That's in the scriptures. That's what I am. I'm Jesus only. Save Jesus only. I'm not Democrat. I'm not Republican. I'm of the Jesus only party. <laughs> That's right. That's why I never have to switch. That's right. Amen. Wonderful, brother. Just give me Lord Jesus. <laughs> That's it. Amen. That's all I want. That's all you want. All right, let's go back to where you were. Back in Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 26. All right. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Now, this is what God wants. Thank God for his church. That's right. Get me. He first wants you to be what? That he might sanctify. He want to set you aside, set you apart from everything and everybody. Amen. For him. For him. He first wants you to be sanctified, set apart set aside separated that's right for him that's right mm -hmm. and cleanse this it. is a holy sanctified program mm. yes it is yes yes it is yeah after sanctification what's next and cleanse it i want to say oh, wait a minute pastor dennis i thought you cleaned first and sanctified second you thought wrong <laughs> amen let me give you a better understanding. When you do laundry, you sanctify them first. <laughs> That's right. With the God, you sanctify the white clothes from the color clothes. <laughs> That's right. Eh? That's right. Amen. Wonderful. Separate all the white clothes from the color clothes. That's right. Hey man, honey, go over to the tub and say, honey, what you doing? I'm sanctifying my laundry. <laughs> Amen. Separate. Separate. I don't want to put these jeans in here with these white clothes because uh, the dye may get on my clothes. And next thing I know, I got a garment that I that's not supposed to be this color. That's right. So I got to sanctify. Sanctify. Separate. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Amen. That's what God has done. That's right. Separate. Oh, yes. Sheep from goats. Wheat from tears. Amen. Separate. Separate. Yeah. That he might sanctify. Come on into the laundry mat. Come to the cleanest. That's right. Over to God, we want to sanctify you. Oh, yes. Separate you. What did he say here? That he might sanctify. That he may sanctify. And cleanse it. Then cleanse what he sanctified. How? With the washing of With water. With the washing of water. By the word. That's it. That's it. We come bring you the word of God. Word. Amen. The washing of water. How? By the word. Give me the woman at the well. Let's see what kind of water we use. Yeah. I have to itemize everything in detail. Oh, yes. Washing of water, water by the word. By the word. By the word. Like we got to take the church and apply water to it. That's right. And we use water by the word. By the word. 
Jesus said. In the book of St. John, chapter 7, we started verse 38. That's what? He that believeth on me. He that believe on me. As the scripture had said. As the word has said. Out of his belly. Out of his belly. Shall flow rivers. Shall flow rivers. Of living water. That's the kind of water we use. Living water. To wash it. That's right. We use life water. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Go ahead. We use water to give you Hallelujah. life. Hallelujah. Life water. That's right. Hallelujah. Living Lord, water. Go. Clean. Go ahead. Pure. Go ahead. Strong. Hallelujah. Not polluted. That's right. Not diluted. That's right. Water straight from heaven. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Amen. This program gave you water straight mm. from heaven. That's right. Hallelujah. Then what am I drinking? I'm drinking spirit. That's right. I'm serving you spirit. That's it. I thought you said you're serving me water. That's right. That's right. Let me show you. The, the, the water that I give you is spirit. He that believeth on me as the scripture had said. He that believeth on me as the scripture had said. Out of his belly shall flow rivers. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. But this spake he. This spake he. Spake he. Of the spirit. Of the spirit. Which they that believe on him should receive. That they which should believe on him. Glory to Hallelujah. God shall receive. For the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost was not yet given. Wasn't yet given. Because that Jesus was not yet glorified. Amen. Jesus wasn't yet glorified. That That's right. lets you know that the Holy Ghost wasn't given until after his resurrection. That's right. Hallelujah. When he rose. Hallelujah. The third day. Hallelujah. Said all power was given unto me. Given unto me. And hallelujah. And heaven and an earth. That's it. Sent his apostles out to the four corners of the earth right. and told them, Go ye into all the world. That's right. Preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that don't believe it, glory to God, shall be damned. And these signs will follow oh. them that believe. That's right. Hallelujah. So the apostles went out spreading water. Yes, they did. Living water. Living water. But this speaking of the Spirit. That's right. On the day of Pentecost, they was filled with living water. Living water. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why the Holy Ghost is called. Uh, you better read that again in John. Saint John. And then you better give me Matthew, what John said about Jesus. Yes. Saint John. He's going to baptize you in. That's right. Yeah, here's what. St. John chapter 7, verses I'm 38 and 39. I'm to show you we are serving spirit. Spirit. And the spirit that we're serving, which is the presence of God, That's the right. language of God, the understanding of God, the wisdom of God, the information of God, the dignity of God, Boy. the infallibleness of God, and the perfection of God. That's right. Hallelujah. We are serving it on the platter of Scripture. That's right. That's right. We want you to drink it. Drink it. That's why he can come in many shapes and many forms. And if you take no water, whatever you put it in, it take on that shape. That's right. Hallelujah. And that same water is fire. Oh, yes. God bid a title water and God bid a title fire. And fire. Let me show you both. St. John chapter 7, verses 38 and 39. And then uh, we'll get what he said about John. Amen. Come on. He that believeth on me, as the scripture had said. Uh, he that believe on me, as the word of God hath said. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Well, the rivers will flow from his belly. This spake he. Of the spirit. Of God. Which they that believe on him should receive. This spake he of the spirit. This spake he of God. That's right. John 4, 24 said, God is the spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. This spake he of the spirit. This spake he of God. This spake he of Jehovah. This spake he of the Lord. This speak ye of Christ, the speak ye of Jesus. Which they that believe on him. That they... <laughs> Amen. To drink him, I gotta do what? They that believe on him should receive. Hallelujah. He that come to God must believe. Believe. Hallelujah. Taste the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. We're going to take God and see that he's good. That's right. That's right. Praise him. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Taste the Lord. I Taste have. the Lord. And see that he is good. He is good. He is good. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He come as water. Hallelujah. So you can digest him. That's right. And then he forms in you. That's right. Like you put water into a glass and then the water take on the shape of that glass. That's right. When the spirit of God come in you, he forms in you. That's it. So the Bible said that Christ may be formed in me. My little children. My little children. Of whom I took birth again. To birth, until Christ. Until Christ. Be formed. Be formed. In you. Now in St. Matthew chapter 3 and at verse 11. Follow me. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. I, John, said I baptize you indeed unto repentance. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I. Stronger than I am. Whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. What is he going to do? He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. And what? And with fire. And the natural water without fire. That's right. When you're talking about God, water is fire. That's right. It's talking about the two functions or the two characteristics of God. That's right. Let's show you both functions that happen on the day of Pentecost. Acts chapter 2, we'll start at verse 1. All right. And when the day of Pentecost when was the day. Day. Hallelujah. 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 A Pentecost was, was fully come. It came in the fullness. They were all with one accord in they one place. They were all with one accord in one place. In one place. And suddenly, suddenly, there oh. came a sound from heaven. There came a sound from heaven. As of a rushing mighty wind. And what did it do? And it filled all the house where they were sitting. It filled them. That's right. That's right. Filled them. Amen. All the house where they were sitting. It doesn't matter how, where that jar or glass is positioned. Hallelujah. You pour water. Hallelujah. It fills it. That's right. So your position. That's right. Don't hinder God from filling you with the Holy Ghost. No, no. On your knees, sitting down, laying down. Amen. Prop down. It doesn't matter. That's right. Your body is ready. For the Holy Ghost, That's right. you believe Him and obey Him. Hallelujah. 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 If you're on your knees Hallelujah. and get tired, Hallelujah. lay down on the floor. That's right. Get 
tired on the floor. Ahead, Sit down in the chair. Go ahead. Go ahead. Doesn't it matter ahead, of your position. Oh no. no. Suddenly. 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 There came a sound from heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Came a sound from heaven. Hallelujah. There came a sound from heaven. From heaven. As of a rushing mighty wind. As of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. Then what? And there appeared unto them cloven tongues. And like as a fire. Wait. Hallelujah. There appeared unto them cloven tongues like what? Like as a fire. They were filled. Amen. Then the tongue was like fire. Hold it. Amen. The spirit as water fills. Feel. But when it says fire, fire, it spreads. That's right. And it sat upon each of them. Notice. It filled, then it starts spreading to each of to them. Each of them. Each of them. That's I'm right. Take off. Hallelujah. Each of them. Each of them. And when I got each of them. And they were all filled. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Hallelujah. They were all filled. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All filled with the Holy Ghost. To speak. Hallelujah. And speak. With other tongues. With other tongues. As the Spirit gave them utterance. So when you have the Holy Ghost, Hallelujah. your body starts to get filled. Filled. Notice. Hallelujah. It set up on each of them as fire. As fire. Now, this is what happens. Hallelujah. Filled Hallelujah. as living water yeah. in the belly. That's right. Spirit start dealing with you. That's right. Starts quickening your body. Oh yeah. And the closer you get to God. Oh yes. That living water. Start elevating. Hallelujah. Start elevating. Hallelujah. Start elevating. Hallelujah. And when it gets to your mouth. Hallelujah. That's where the fire is. In fire. God. That's right. And it spreads. That's right. And they all were filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. They were all filled with they the Holy Ghost. With the Holy Ghost. And began to speak with other tongues. And began to speak with other tongues. With other tongues. As the Spirit. As the Spirit. Gave them utterance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you have the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. As they got it on the day of Pentecost. Hallelujah. You ain't got to try to speak. No, no. You ain't got to help it. That's right. That's right. You ain't got to fake it. Oh, no. You ain't got to go somewhere and practice it. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. They were all when filled. fire get a hold of you naturally. Oh, yeah. The power of the fire forces you to talk. That's right. When you got the Holy Ghost. That's right. It'll make you crown. That's right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. It'll make you crown. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost. All right, take God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take God. They were all filled with the they Holy Ghost. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And began to speak with other tongues. And began to speak with the Hallelujah. With other tongues. As the Spirit gave them utterance. As the Spirit gave them utterance. Glory right, take God gave utterance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't have to help it. No, no. Hallelujah. All you got to do is obey it. That's it. And believe it. That's it. And then let God Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let God do the rest. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Drink the water of God. That's it. 
That's it. Taste the Lord. Taste the Lord. Hallelujah. See that he's good. See that he's good. Hallelujah. Respect God's law. Hallelujah. 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 Subject yourself to the pruning. Hallelujah. Let God prune you. That's it. So you can flourish. That's it. Every chance you have to be pruned, clipped, the wickedness to be removed. Yes. In and out of your temple. That's right. Submit yourself. That's right. Oh, it's painful while you're being pruned. Yeah. Take your eyes off everybody else. That's right. This is why some of you can't be a help to your other brother and your mm. other sister who's struggling because you didn't submit yourself to pruning. That's right. Mm. Any one of your brothers and sisters alive and astray, oh, yeah. don't put your foot on their neck. That's right. Pray and ask God to prune their ways. That's right. Hallelujah. I believe Jesus told Peter, Go and take God when thou art truly converted. Yes. Strength Thanks be unto God. Hallelujah. Then you can strengthen your brother. That's right. That's Remember right. what the book of Second Esther declared. Back in Second Esther chapter 7 at verse 21. That is it. For God has given straight commandment to such as Cain. Yes. What they should do to live. What you may do to live. Even as they came. Even as they came. And what they should observe. What they should observe. To avoid punishment. To avoid punishment. We're telling you now by yeah. God's permission. What to do to live. What to do. You that are here in Valdosta, Georgia. God has given you the opportunity. The greatest opportunity you will ever have in this life. That's right. The next greatest opportunity is the coming of the Lord. That's right. But while we're in this life, yes. the greatest opportunity is to be able to get right with God. That's it. And that we may know him in the power of his resurrection. Hallelujah. Repent of your sins. Oh, yes. Be baptized in water. Be sorry about being out here for so long. That's right. Wild and foolish and ungodly. Yes. Be baptized in water. In the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. Let the Lord fill you with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Anybody want to be right with God today and be baptized the right way in the name of Jesus Christ, stand on your feet, Valdosa. <laughs> Glory to God. Look at here. Wonderful. Here we go again. We go. <laughs> All of you that are standing, go to the back. All of you that are standing, go to the back. And remember, Valdosa, we will be starting the new First Church of the Lord Jesus Christ here in Valdosa, Georgia, April 16th, service at 11 a.m. and again at 4 p.m. and the Rose Garden Room. Hallelujah. Look at that. Do you see? That's Do right. you see? Do you not see what I'm talking about? Amen. It's all right, isn't it, Russ? Hallelujah. This is the Lord's story. That's right. In the day like the day. In mm. a day like the day. Amen. All these hundreds and hundreds and hundreds that are pitting, hallelujah, going down in water in the name of Jesus Christ, ready to get on God's side. Amen. We already got a mass congregation here in Valdosa already. That's right. Amen. That's right. All right. How many we got went to the back to get back there? We got two brothers? Yeah, we need two now. Amen. We got to get so now we got to have at least two or three or four portable pools. Yeah. To keep things going. It, it isn't wise to have one portable pool now. Right. We can't do it. We got to have at least two or three or four portable pools. Right. That way we can have at least two or three or four brothers baptizing and no one have to wait. That's right. Amen. We want to make that standard now. 
Whenever we come in town or rent a place, have at least three or four portable baptismal folks. Amen. Because when the Lord come in town with his word, yeah. you know there's some fish and the net going to break. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. Lord, our God, God's word is in town. Yes. And the net breaks all the time. Amen. I thank God for this. Amen. Amen. I thank God for it. Who gave me the correct time, brother? All right, 2.44. Come on back this evening. Evening session began at 5 o'clock. Hope to see you come on back and get the conclusion of the whole matter. God willing, we hope to see you in two weeks in Augusta, Georgia, hanging out with the former Bishop of Love. <laughs> Every, every time uh, Bishop Williams talk about what they used to call him before he met us, the Bishop of Love. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. We'll be with our brother Bishop Williams and all the saints in Augusta, Georgia. Amen. Well, he, the, the, the people just coming from so many areas of the world. Yeah. Amen. So as I said, my mission, I need you to pray for us, your brother, that God give us strength. Because with God help, with God help, God's help, we want to plant several churches per state. Per state. And we want to do it with God's help without a mortgage on one. Wonderful. Amen. Did you check that out for me? Uh, free, was it Freeport? All right, Freeport, Texas. Any of my brothers and sisters from Houston, Texas, uh, for you, you, you familiar with Freeport, Texas? Any of you? Freeport, Texas. Any of you Texas folk familiar with it? You familiar with it? It's about what, 57 or 55 minutes from Houston? What's that? About that? All right. We've been looking for churches in Houston. They're hard to find. Found the big, beautiful church in Freeport. And the price is just right. Wonderful. Yes. My secretary contacted me this morning. She texted to me last night. And I didn't look at my phone till this morning. And then she called me. She said, did you look at it? Did you look at it? Did you look at it? I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. I looked at it. One was 700,000. I said, no. That was in another part of uh, Texas, not that far from Houston. Freeport, one big, beautiful place. That was only 200 and something thousand. It looked like it, looked like it was moving ready. Hmm. Now, I know some of you are spoiled and want to have everything convenient. But uh, if we can save money and you got to drive 47 or even an hour away from Houston, I believe the word of God is worth it. Right. Yes, so I told her, get on it right now. Amen. Get on it right now and get down there and look at it and FaceTime it back. Let me know what it is, amen, so I can bid lower than what it is. <laughs> and I want to bid so low until we can buy it cash and Texas don't have a mortgage. Right. 